What's going on, brother? Oh, chilling, man. How are you? I'm good. This is so strange because I've I've known you for what six years at this yeah, point. Yeah, you just keep getting better looking. It's oh, crazy. thanks, man. I like uh, the hair. It's I appreciate crazy, it. Yeah, it took good. a while. Um, <laughs> no, it, it, this good. is so exciting for me because you know I met you like six years ago, and I think it was maybe in Des Moines, Iowa, <laughs> at, at the first right. time. And now, and that was obviously with the band, but now I get to, you know, I, I, as I was getting ready for this interview, I'm like, God, I know Dan, but I don't really know Dan. Like it was always Dan in the band that I knew. There's layers, baby. There's layers. So this is cool for me because now I get to actually learn about you as an individual and I get to do it in your hometown. Like how cool is that? I could hug you, man. That was sweet. (laughs) We'll schedule that later. Um, (laughs) So... Let's let's just jump into it, man. Like you, you rep Portland, but like now we're in Portland. So you know, where are you from? Which part of the city? You know, where'd you grow up? Like, well, here's the thing. Here's the tea. <laughs> I'm from Vancouver, Washington. But if I say, <laughs> thank you. If I say Vancouver, they say Canada. So I'm from Portland. But that counts, right? It's like a bridge. That's it. It's so close. If I hung out with my friends, we went to Portland. We definitely didn't hang in Vancouver. Unless we went to Walmart, and then that was about well, all you could do there. That's so. what I'm talking about is, you know, now you're here, you can say Vancouver and not get something thrown at you. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. good. So what what high school did you go to then? I went to Union High School. You did go to Union. To so Union. the funny thing is, is our morning girl, uh, Alexis, also went to Union High School. Oh, boy, this she, is wild. She said, she said well, not, she's got you, everybody, because you went to middle school with Daniel. Was that? You went to... What? What's his name? Oh, that's crazy. You went, what, Pacific? Uh, no, Oh, Shahela. He was a Shahela kid. <laughs> wow, that's wild. So Alexis went to oh. high school with you, and she said that after, uh, I think it was after American Idol, you came back and performed for the school. Is that true? I did, yeah. It was really awkward, really. <laughs> right in the theater room. Good times. So, like, when, when, uh, when you come home, you know, is it obviously you're in a familiar place, but yeah. is it like another stop on the tour, or is it does it feel like home? Like, do you get to do uh, home yeah, things? Yeah, it feels like home. I think uh, this time it's been a quick turnaround, but the last time I was here, I was filming my music video for "Can We Pretend That We're Good," and I saw my grandparents, and they're actually living in my old house, so I gotta go in my bedroom. But it's funny, I hadn't been in there since puberty, literally. <laughs> So I was like four foot eleven when I lived there. I walked in. I was like, "This is way smaller than I remember." Like, it was pretty wild. But um, yeah, it was like a I hadn't had a full circle moment like that since the band started because we were going so much. I mean, it was like five years nonstop touring, and uh, it was pretty wild. Like seeing that room, it like smacked me in the face because I it almost felt like a different life that I lived. You know, so that was pretty bizarre. Um, I had voodoo last night. The nostalgia hit for a second. That was nice. So with places like like Voodoo Donuts, is there when you see Portland on the schedule, are you like, God, I gotta go to this place while I'm home? Like, is uh, there stomping yeah, grounds, actually, restaurants? Like, where do you have to go oh when you come, God, come well, back home? Oh my God, it's funny you ask because I I brought my girlfriend here uh, on this whole tour and I kept telling her, I said, baby, when we get to Portland, I need to bring you on the Angels Rest hike. You guys done Angels Rest? <laughs> They're like, girl, well, yes. In my, <laughs> it, the way I romanticize this hike, I remember it being like a mile and a half and like pretty easy uphill. Get ready, too. We win at 4.30 p.m. We start walking up. Four miles later, I'm like, I'm sorry. It's muddy. We're slipping. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. It was terrifying. And we're on the cliff edge. We are 0.5 miles from the top. And the sun sets completely. We miss sunset. It's getting dark now. And we got to that part, if you've done the hike, you know that right near the top, you almost think you're to the promised land, and there's these giant five-foot rocks that look like they all want to kill you, and you have to just go over it like you're in Lord of the Rings or something. And we, she looked over like, you know, I think we should turn around. And I was like, yeah, Good okay. call. So we didn't, even, we didn't see the top. We turned around, and we headed down in pitch black with our phone flashlights on, sliding down the mud and water like it was terrible so maybe next time so you know we'll go at like 12 and actually see it but yeah typically that's my fit i brought my bandmates at that same spot we hit angel's rest for sunrise last time we came here so we had to leave at like three in the morning for that one but 
they got to see the top. So lucky. Um, yeah. So speaking of the guys, like, what's the biggest difference you've noticed so far? You got a couple of dates left on the tour. What's mm. some of the biggest differences you've noticed from going, you know, with a group or a band to now doing it solo? I gotta think about way more. <laughs> Even I mean, even today, you can't mail it in at the at that point. No, exactly. Yeah, I think I think just like all eyes are on you, and and at first that was obviously really scary, and now it's in a nice way like liberating and validating to, you know, go out on this tour and like I think it really clicked that first night to kind of have that comfort of like, holy moly, these people are here for me, and no words describe that feeling it is it is pretty remarkable and that that's just a testament to you guys you are the best fans in the world sticking with us through all the stuff we had but also sticking with me the way you have is just amazing so that's been awesome is there did anybody give you any advice before going out on the road as a solo act or or uh, not really I no think, okay you know corbin's in like break a leg bro and that was like the most <laughs> i got gee thanks corbin appreciate yeah, it yeah perfect so now that you're almost wrapping up your first tour is there going to be any advice that you're going to give to the other guys or are you just going to return the favor to corbin and yeah. be like hey good luck dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah break both your legs <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah just have have fun and uh the fans will be there i i was scared of what that would look like when i put tickets on sale i was freaking out like i never have but they showed up so yeah get out there get out there buddy <laughs> uh i tried getting into the music now i tried feels super vulnerable and Thanks. you know i i can i can feel see and hear the evolution going from the band why don't we to to daniel cv so thank you man it, it almost feels like and i can't speak for everybody else but for me it feels like it's the first song that you wrote outside of the band to where like runaway may have felt like you were still like there's some you influence there yeah you nailed it yeah, so it's it very honest the whole song was just like a humbling song to write i think i was like brutally honest with myself was that, that hard song. to like just open up and just yeah be... for sure yeah yeah i think you know i was kind of making fun of myself and it's funny because i don't know when we were in the band you know our old manager used to kind of put in our heads so much that you had to hide all your dark spots and you had to always be this like perfect image and this song was pretty awesome for me to put out because it was like the polar opposite it was me being like brutally honest with myself and and being like I'm not the perfect guy and that's just that is the reality and and it was really liberating and validating to put that out and and have people connect with it and still like me after knowing i'm not perfect that's that's a good feeling no oh, oh, come on gosh come on what's your name oh, heather. heather we love heather here oh my god heather and heather you're serious that's awesome you guys have the same haircut too that's crazy there's a hundred percent chance that I'm still gonna forget your name. Just so you know, <laughs> both your names. I want a best friend with the same name and hairstyle. It's sweet. Wow. So, if you had to describe your sound to somebody who's never heard your music, who would you say you sound like, or your your music, dude? It's kind of emulates. Cliche, but I sound like Daniel. I don't know if I I take pride in the fact that I don't know if there's anybody that I particularly sound like and it's funny because ironically this tour has been called introducing daniel cv and i equally think i'm getting to know myself out here more than i ever have so i feel like in the songs you can kind of hear me finding myself out more and more too but um i wouldn't peg myself up against anybody i mean there's spurts of people in there but when you collect it all i think it it does sound just like me well, we love that. We love that you're kind of coming into your own, and we can definitely Thanks. hear it, especially, you. you know, like with songs like I Tried. So Thanks. I know you have uh, My Life is a Movie playlist, so if you if you made a playlist. movie about your life, what song is going to feature on the trailer? I don't know how you knew I love that playlist. That's awesome. Uh, oh, my gosh. What's that song? I think it's by KG Elephant, and it's like... Da -da -da. Oh my God! Who was that? Wow! Here? Okay. Oh my! Look Respect. Oh, you just keep killing it. What song is that? You know, Amaya. Amaya. You, you're on fire today. And also, do you want a job at the radio station? <laughs> yeah. You. Know, Actually, it's me and Ice were besties. 
Oh, also, okay. Like, do you drink coffee or what is it? I need it. Like, oh my wow. god. Wow. You know how many questions we feel? Like, hey, what's that song you guys played that one time? That's a da 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 da. And it would like, be helpful. You would be very helpful. I got serious. Yeah. Let's that go. Pretty, that was impressive, though. That was impressive. Yeah. So, that's a good song. Your dad is a pastor. You yeah. used to play a cello in the church. You know, yes, sir. You've shot your music video in front of a church. Like, yeah. is that something like uh, incorporating your faith? Is that going to eventually be a part of your music, or is that something you yeah. like to keep separate? Yeah, it's part of who I am in my DNA, and I think my whole approach to my music is being unapologetically me. And so, I think my faith already shines through in certain lyrics in certain ways. Um, I don't, I don't know if a worship album necessarily is coming from me anytime soon, but. I think my faith is such a big part of me that you're going to hear it in my stuff for sure. That's rad. You guys yeah. have questions for Daniel? Otherwise, we're going to we're gonna play some music that I think is unreleased. Yeah, so here's the thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. I, I went to the old doctor today, and this is a first for me. You can probably hear it. It's not that I'm wearing a nose plug. My voice is just completely gone. The last couple of days, it was kind of leaving, and I sang through Denver, and I sang through Seattle, and uh, probably not the wisest decision, but I'm not one to be a drama queen, so I tried to, I was, oh, rock and roll, I'm fine, and then today I woke up, and it was just completely shot, um, so unfortunately, I've never had to do this. I'm going to have to pull the show today. Um, I talked to the doctor, and he said there's just, like, no way that today... I'll be able to sing if I want my voice to literally stay fine. He said, if I sang tonight, I might not sing again. And that I was like, you're being dramatic. And he was like, nope. <laughs> um, so I'm getting medication and I should be good in the next couple of days. But that being said, I'm coming back way sooner than later. And I do want to do a proper show in my hometown because this is my hometown for crying out loud. The last thing I ever want to do is cancel a show, let alone my hometown show. So... It kills me, um, but I am going to be coming back and, and doing a banging set. And, yeah, I, I am really sorry. It, it, it just crushes me. Um, it's a first for me to have to do that. So, yeah, living and learning, I guess. But, um, yeah, and we're going to figure out, you know, all of your tickets and making sure everybody is good and whatnot. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find the silver lining and the positive. And I, I will say... The show I come back and do is going to be one banging set because it's going to be meant for just my hometown peeps. So it's going to be a fun one. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. It sucks. It sucks. Well, selfishly, the silver lining is you guys get to see him today. So like, yeah, I, I'm so sorry to everybody I watching I wasn't this. Gonna, yeah, I wasn't going to miss this. I'm so sorry. I saw sorry. y'all watching Spider Man. I was like, I at least need to show up. And so for, for the people at home, Sorry, but yeah. but I'm about to yeah, I'm gonna put up a post right after this. I literally came from the doctor just now and I, I was in there honestly thinking I was gonna come out doing the show and he was gonna give me that magical blue pill that would do it, you know. And he was like, You if you sing tonight, you might not sing for a while and I said, Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put something up right after. I wanted to just let you all know first, because you've been waiting watching a great film, but, you know, <laughs> it's not what you're here for. So, Give it up for Daniel so. C.V. one more time, you guys. <laughs> 